close your eyes and watch your breath. Notice when it's coming in, notice when it's going out. Notice where you feel the breath in the body. Sometimes it's the passage of the air and sometimes it's the movement of the body itself. Actually, the movement of the body itself is easier, easier to stay focused on because the passage of air can get very light. And then ask yourself if the breath is comfortable. Try not to force it too much. Don't put a clamp on it. Just stick with it. Watch it carefully. In the same way that you would try to make something carefully. Because what we're trying to do here is develop good qualities of the mind. Mindfulness, which is the ability to keep something in mind. Alertness is the ability to watch what you're doing and the results that you're getting. And ardency, the desire to do it well. And it's the ardency that makes all the difference. All kinds of things we can remember, all things that we can watch, but if we don't do something about them when they're not good, if we don't maintain them when they are good, then they just pass by. We don't get the most use out of the good things. We get cluttered up with the bad things in the mind. So try to do this really well. Remind yourself that getting the mind well trained is a source for true happiness. And you want happiness is of high quality. Have you ever stopped to think about what's the quality of your happiness? When you think of goods, material things that are of high quality, they're carefully made, they're going to be long-lasting. And that's the same sort of happiness you want. You have to put care into looking for your happiness. Because if you're very sloppy about how you look for your happiness, then you're going to get a sloppy happiness, which means that it may actually harm you and harm other people. What we're looking for is a happiness that lasts, happiness that doesn't harm anybody at all. It means we have to look within, train the mind, be very careful about what you think about, what you're going to say, what you're going to do. Show some care, show some workmanship in your search for happiness. Especially now that we're beginning, getting ready to begin the new year, you want to think about what kind of happiness you're going to look for in the new year. Instead of making a resolution saying, well, I've got to force myself to do this, force myself to do that, and say, I want to look for a genuine happiness here, a quality happiness this year, and then think about what's required. Focus on the fact that it's going to make you happy in a solid and reliable way. And then ask yourself, well, what's needed to do that? Work backwards from that. And you get some good ideas about what you need to do in order to change the new year. Every year, new year comes in and we say, well, the old year is horrible. Well, what is it? Why is it horrible? Because of the things that we didn't do that were good in the course of the year. It's our actions that actually make a year auspicious or inauspicious. And it's how we go about our happiness that's going to make the difference between whether we act carefully or not, whether we're going to be satisfied or not with the results. So put some care into how you train your mind, how you pay attention to your mind. And that happiness that comes is bound to be a quality happiness. The happiness that will last, hold you in good stead for a long time to come.